Hello, my name is Tanya, and I'm a librarian here at the Chula Vista Public Library. Today, we'll be walking through the steps to access a fun digital local history resource that you can access from our website. This tutorial will take less than five minutes and hopefully bring hours of fun. What is it? Content DM, it's a resource that allows you to browse a portion of the Chula Vista Public Library's local history photo collection. It's an open resource, and what that means to you is that it does not require a login or username to access. Content DM contains photos of various libraries' collections, and for Chula Vista Public Library, we've included more than a thousand photos to browse using the keyword search feature. It also includes information about each photo, a description, dates, any pertinent information that can help with your research. So the next question is, why would you want to use this particular resource? Well, it supports research that you might be doing on a local history topic. It might be fun just to peruse the growth and changes throughout the years in Chula Vista, bring some nostalgia, and it's a good way to get to know the community better and in a deeper sense and feel more connected to it. So let's get started. At the top of the screen in the search box, go ahead and type www.chulavistalibrary.com. Once you hit enter, you're going to scroll down the page until you come to Select Services. At this point, you have a couple of different options. You can either click on Local History from the left navigation side of the screen, or you can click on Local History, the blue underlined link in the middle of the page. Now you should see the blue underlined link historical images. Let's click on that now. First, we'll walk through the steps of the general browse option. To use the general browse option, click on go. At the top of the screen on the left hand side, you'll see a box that defaults to the collection John Rojas photograph collection. Browsing items in the John Rojas collection if you click on Go, it brings up your results, and in this case, it shows 225 items in our result list. You can change that collection by clicking on the down arrow key and try other searches, such as the farming collection, the education collection, the centennial collection. Next, we're gonna try using the search box option where you can refine your searches to specific keywords. This can be found in the upper right hand side of the screen. Go ahead and type in the word schools and click on search. You'll notice that it brought up a results list of photos that includes 159 items. And as you scroll down, you'll see photos of some but others show a square frame with the words restricted file. Restricted files have specific copyright regulations, so they're not available for reproduction. But any that have thumbprints or little square photos, you can click on to see a larger version of the photo and to get detailed descriptions of the photos. Most of the photos will be watermarked for copyright restrictions, but if you'd like to purchase a photo for personal use or business use, see the library's photo use fees and agreement form on the library's website. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and have a wonderful time with your searching. Good luck!